For more than a decade, NASA has depended only on SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft to transport astronauts and supplies to the International Space Station. This was mainly because there were no other American companies capable of launching from U.S. soil. However, the narrative is beginning to shift. There's a new player in town with a spacecraft very similar to SpaceX's Dragon, and it's ready to conduct its first launch test soon. Many experts believe this launch could be a monumental success. This spells potentially bad news for SpaceX. Some people believe that this emerging spacecraft could possibly replace SpaceX's trusted Falcon rockets and Dragon capsules in the near future. In this video, we will explore whether this new spacecraft can indeed replace SpaceX's rockets or how it will affect SpaceX overall. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the latest developments in the industry. When a rocket company presents a new spacecraft concept, NASA takes a look into the idea to determine if it could be beneficial for their future missions. If NASA sees any potential, they may choose to invest in the project, providing the necessary funding to ensure the project reaches completion. This process was exactly what happened with SpaceX's Dragon and Boeing Starliner. For example, SpaceX received significant financial backing from NASA, with an initial award of around $278 million to develop the Dragon spacecraft. The investment paid off when the Dragon completed its first successful cargo mission to the International Space Station in 2012. Since then, NASA has been using the Dragon for its missions to the space station, and many believe this singular spacecraft led to a monopoly. However, this is now changing as Boeing Starliner is finally about to take off. Boeing Starliner is also backed by NASA's funding, initially awarded $4.2 billion. Now, the countdown is on, and Boeing is gearing up for a crucial Starliner launch. It's set for its first crewed mission on May 6th, launching from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station with astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams in control. Boeing's Starliner has faced a challenging path to its upcoming launch. Originally, the spacecraft encountered significant problems during its first uncrewed test flight, aimed at docking with the International Space Station. Key issues included a critical timing error in the onboard clock, which was off by 11 hours. This timing mismatch prevented the Starliner's thrusters from firing at the correct moments, leading the spacecraft to miss its intended orbit. Further investigations revealed more concerns, particularly with the software. The software testing was conducted in segments and used emulators instead of integrating fully with the spacecraft's actual hardware. This approach failed to detect a severe software error that could have resulted in the loss of the vehicle during flight. As a result of these findings, a joint NASA and Boeing review team came up with 80 corrective actions. These initial setbacks led to a more careful redesign efforts to address both the hardware and software issues identified. NASA and Boeing have since increased their effort to ensure these issues are resolved. However, there's still some worry because of past issues. Last year, they found problems with the parachute system and some valves that could rust. These have been fixed, but they're keeping a close eye on everything to make sure no new problems pop up. As the launch gets closer, people are debating whether the Starliner is safe enough for future NASA missions. Some think NASA might be better off focusing more on SpaceX's Dragon, which has been very reliable. The Dragon is not only cutting edge, but also cheaper, which is a big plus for NASA as they look to save money and get the best technology. Cost is a big factor in this race, and SpaceX is way ahead, offering much cheaper prices for their seats compared to Boeing. This price difference highlights how SpaceX is not only leading with technology, but also making space travel more affordable. Boeing is trying to catch up, but they're dealing with technology that feels outdated compared to SpaceX's innovative designs. They're also trying to move past recent troubles in their airplane division, like the issues with the 737 MAX, which haven't helped their image. As we get closer to launch day, everyone from space enthusiasts to industry experts is watching closely. This mission could either help Boeing recover from past setbacks or add to their difficulties. After several setbacks that put them behind SpaceX in the space race, this launch could really turn things around for Boeing. A win could boost their reputation, but a failure could spell big trouble.
If any issues arise during this launch of the Starliner, the consequences could potentially mark the end of Boeing's aspirations in space exploration. Firstly, it's important to note that this is a crewed mission, meaning the stakes are incredibly high. Any incident, such as an explosion, could result in the tragic loss of astronauts. Such a disaster would also remain in public memory for a long time, casting Boeing in a severely negative light. Secondly, Boeing has already faced significant delays in the Starliner program, and these have not gone unnoticed. Critics and even some stakeholders have grown impatient, with voices already calling on NASA to reconsider its funding and support for Boeing. Another delay or a failed mission could put additional pressure on NASA to shift its focus and resources towards more reliable partners like SpaceX. Adding to this competitive landscape is the Dream Chaser, a spacecraft that differs from both the Dragon and the Starliner. Unlike the Starliner and SpaceX's Dragon, the Dream Chaser is designed as a spaceplane that can land on conventional runways. This unique capability offers a gentler return and recovery process, potentially reducing the time it takes to refurbish the spacecraft between missions. Dream Chaser is getting ready for its first launch soon, where it will carry cargo to the International Space Station. What makes the Dream Chaser stand out compared to the other two spacecraft is its cost-effectiveness. It is estimated to be around $40 million per seat. In contrast, clients have reportedly paid about $90 million per seat for Starliner missions and approximately $55 million per seat for missions aboard the Crew Dragon. With Dragon, Starliner, and Dream Chaser as options, NASA can choose the best spacecraft for specific missions. This could lead to better prices and more efficient missions. If all these spacecrafts prove successful, NASA will have a strong lineup to choose from for future space missions. And then there is the anticipated Starship. This rocket is capable of carrying up to 100 people or 150 metric tons to orbit, which positions it as even more powerful than some of the most legendary rockets. For instance, the Saturn V had a payload capacity to low Earth orbit of about 140 metric tons. Starship is not only aiming for missions to Earth orbit, but also to the Moon and Mars, which dwarfs the capacities of other spacecraft like Dragon, Starliner, and Dream Chaser. Musk plans to build around 100 starships each year with the goal of achieving a fleet of 1,000 spacecraft over a decade. He believes that with this fleet, it would be possible to send approximately 100,000 people to Mars every year, when Earth and Mars are optimally aligned for travel which happens approximately every 26 months. Musk also suggests that the cost per Starship launch could potentially drop to as low as $2 million to $3 million, a significant reduction compared to traditional launch costs. As of 2024, Starship has completed three orbital test flights and is preparing for a fourth. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.